and we're right back love this game can't wait to keep playing all right so that last episode we got into a huge fight with pilgrims because they wanted thirty thousand dollars and we just weren't going to do it we have a colony um that we're going to bring food up to because apparently they want food who would have thought uh hey look recreational drugs yeah you can have all those uh don't need any of that or that or that or that or that and we found another one of those gigantic um humongous um boats uh the really the 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 attack freighter or the attack carrier whatever they're called We found another one of those and we picked it up. So it's, it's, but it's on the planet because we didn't have the crew to, to sustain it and all that jazz. And, and, and we'll have to bring it down here and get it refit and all that jazz. Um, organics. Yeah. Get rid of the organics. Sure. Dual light machine guns. We have nine of those now. I remember when we had to buy those, we didn't have enough. Look at all these ship weapons. Come on, man. I can't wait. I cannot wait until that place is built up up there where we can just pull in one of our boats and just outfit the crap out of it. <laughs> it's going to be biblical. Uh, we're going to get rid of just down to about a hundred of those. And what we really need is we really need, I guess, crew, right? Yeah, we need crew. About 300 crew. That sounds good. Fuel, I think we're okay on. And supplies, four right now, I think we're okay on. So we turned a, a profit of $25,000 coming down here, which is fantastic. Now let's go look at the fleet. So 52, 14, 9, 10,000, 10,000. These guys are repaired. 13,000 for this one, for the, uh, for the uh, light carrier. But only 3,000 for the hammerhead. Is that a dragon? No, it's Reaper. Rip it. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. I just wanted I just wanted that guy stripped of all his weapons. Now he's only worth $3,000. What about you? Just strip you of everything. And then go back. How much are you worth? Only 4,000. So even the even though these guys are midline, I don't think that they're I mean, what would they replace? We have destroyers, right? We have two high-tech destroyers. It'd be nice if we could start making a new fleet. Like if we could make a new fleet and then tell one of our second in commands, like, hey, you're you're the you're the admiral for that fleet, and then tell it to patrol. That would be fantastic. Then I wouldn't mind giving it like this and this to help him start off like this, 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 and that to start off a new fleet. And I could build a new one, which I think is what this game, like, like that's the cool part of this game is building the fleet anyway. We'll do that. We'll outfit these guys. We'll outfit them and then we'll take them up to the, to the colony and we'll drop them off and we'll hope, just hope in the future that we can do something with them. And they'll probably drop the big guy off too. And we'll run the other big guy down and get him. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. All right. Let's see what we can do here. So fighter bays. Let's do Warthog assault fighters and then rocket bombers. Yeah. And then he's almost completely. <laughs> oh, look at that. He's got a. My goodness. He can't, can't really defend himself. There we go. Dual machine guns there. A light mortar. No, I'd like to do another machine gun, but something that's small enough where you can have two of them. There you go. Auto assign the weapon groups and then auto fit out what's left. Perfect. There we go. So he's got a couple of weapons to defend himself. Then he has his fighter wing. Very good. Oh, he's only got one demon on. Very nice. Uh, assault. Can we outfit that? Do we have everything for it? Cost of ordnance, a thousand dollars. 
available funds. Thirteen hundred dollars. Oh, look at that! Only six hundred. I think they call it overdriven. That's interesting. Mining blaster. Yuck. Yuck. All right, let's put our own stuff on there. Oh, he, he can fit one of the big ones, dude. He can fit one of the big mumbo jumbo ones. A large arcane weapon that's one of the most devastating sustained damage dealers in the sector, provided the ship is mounted, can only handle the flux it generates. If you want to total it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then everything else is just going to be small potatoes. Small little bitty baby potatoes. He doesn't need <laughs> he doesn't need anything else. Just little bitty dinky weapons and then this gigantic <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then we need uh we need to do whatever uh, it says to get rid of the flux. Flux, what does that say? Increase the ship's flux dissipation. Yes. 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 Perfect. That's perfect. It's actually disgusting, but you know what I mean. Balanced only costs us $1,000. Only $300 for overdriven, which is crap, or supports $500. That's interesting. Oh, dude, heavy machine gun. Absolutely. Can do another one? Perfect. Asbestos torpedoes? Absolutely. I love that. I love that. Integrated targeting unit. That sounds fine by me. He's got one point left though. Um, just take one or two points. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Advanced turret gyro so that he can slew the turrets faster. There we go. And that right there would be the, the building blocks of a great new fleet. My humble opinion. I love that. All right, so let's go here one more time. We have more crew, we have food, we have 200 food. I suppose that's enough for right now. I mean, how much food do they need? And I think they said luxury goods. They wanted luxury goods. Luxury goods, $100 a unit. Like $5,000 of luxury goods, there we go. All right. And then do I need fuel? I should be good on fuel. I'm, I'm a little concerned about supplies though. I'll take some more supplies. All right. And then let's, let's go back to Rebecca. Watch that he'll fly right into the, he will fly right into the sun. You give him half a chance. Hello, hello, hello. We're, we flew right past them. How are they unidentified? How can we fly that close to a fleet and not see who they are? You're killing me, Smalls. That's not very far away from where we're going. Interesting. If we had a little bit more fuel, we probably would go over there and do those. Forty and fifty thousand dollars. Scan the world and um do a derelict ship. Are we close to buying? We can't go buy from the pirates. Dang. If there was a place we could buy some fuel at, or some one we could beat up. We beat you guys up. No, they're, I guarantee you they're smugglers. But yeah, both of those missions, both of those missions are, are here. 
analyze derelict ship is right there. And then, hold on. And then, uh, oh, it's the same. Oh, I see what they did. Um, uh, well, eh, let's get up there first. Let's get up there first and we'll, we'll see how we feel. We might get blown off course or we might have to fight somebody else or some crap. I don't know. Wow, there's a big fleet right there. Is that a little, is that a fight? Bounty hunter and an unknown fleet. Yeah, it was later a fight. We could have got fuel out of that. Okay. Another derelict ship. Where's this one at? Further out. I'm also a little gun shy about, um, oh, nice. We repaired structural damage. So good. I'm also a little gun shy about, um, going to the derelict ship site. I know it's good money for us. And I know it's like right around the corner, but I also will be tempted probably to, <laughs> to pick up some of the ships that are there. We probably will do it. We'll probably do it. Let's just go. Let's go to the colony and we'll drop off more of these boats. We'll leave them there and then we'll, we'll run out there and do it. God, we are so slow. It's almost it's almost a little painful to watch us move through the galaxy. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Let's go to Martin. Do we still own this stuff? Yep, still all ours. Super nice. $147,000. Yikes. I think we have like two more months maybe until, <laughs> until we're completely out of money. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's give them the food that they want. Let's give them the luxury items that they want. Right. Let's confirm that. And like, this is storage, right? So all of this stuff. Look at that. We can store this stuff for free. Finally. Finally. Feels so good to store all this stuff for free. Confirm. Get that out of my cargo holds. Ugh. Can I refit my guys here? I guess I could do that before. I just didn't realize it. Cool. All right. You're stored. You're stored and you're stored. I want to go to the take. Uh, we want to take this behemoth. We want to go to refit. All right. Heavy auto cannon, bumper, heavy mortar. That's a dual light machine gun. Anti armor, anti shield, point defense area, anti shield, general, rotary gun, rotary cannon with generous engineering favor, which provides a great ease of operation, and reliability, weapons officers across pressure, and navies, etc. Meanwhile. Poor maintenance habits. I don't know what the hell that's talking about. Anti armor, anti shield. Well, let's do let's do one anti armor right there in the front, and then we'll do anti shield, anti shield, dual light machine gun for point defense, dual light machine gun for point defense. Those are anti-shield, right? Those are anti-shield, so we can do... I'll just do more point defense. And then this will be anti-armor. Anti... or point defense. Love it. This guy just does suppression. Finisher. Pressure. Long-range support. Or pedos. Let's do finisher. 
And then again, we'll do point defense. Cool, then it has its fighter wing there. Lovely, lovely. Weapon groups. And then whatever it has left over, it'll do integrated targeting, flux disruptor, and flux coil adjuster. Oh, it has 10 left over. Okay. And there we go. Now it's turrets or, or whatever. Cool. Uses at 79%, so she has to be a little bit Brought out a mothball. Then we go here to fleet. We move her up there. Whoops. And we have crew under strength on a lot of stuff. So how about we store you? Can I store you without? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what about you? Hmm. Oh. Well, I guess just having two of those is, is just, it's just, it's insane. <laughs> um, fine. We'll store that as well. And then what, what's here now? See, look, we could, we could have that guy, that, all of that stuff. I'm going to take that. All of this stuff here as a second, this right here could be a second fleet that could patrol this area. Oh, they, yeah, 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 that guy. Yeah, I'll have to switch. Sorry, lady, but he's I mean, he's level seven. Um, but like this right here, it'd be so cool if we could send this out as a patrol fleet. You know what I mean? But I don't think we can do it like that. I think the game automatically generates them like here, like it'll, it'll do it for us. Like it'll, it'll, it'll make that fleet at one point and it just runs around. I don't know. Don't know. All right. And calm, manage the colony. 17 days left for that. I don't have any money to build anything else. It's costing me so much money. I really kind of hope that this thing, uh, we start generating some dollar dues here. All right. Speaking of dollar dues, let's accept that mission. Wherever it was at, it was scan something. Yeah, we're right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the the weapons cache there. And the weapons cache here. There's two weapons caches here. But they wanted us to go here and do something. They wanted us to analyze a derelict ship. Where is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't say that someone else got it. No, don't say that someone else got it. I should have clicked on it when I saw it. I should have clicked on it when I saw it. I think someone else... I think someone else did, did it. Gosh darn it. Well, it's sixty thousand dollars out there. I just don't think I have the fuel for that. Gosh darn it! I should have taken it. Should have clicked it when I had the chance. Is there any way just to do all? I just click on like all. Show me all of the missions. That'd be great if I could just say, just show me all of. Them. Especially the ones, like, if you zoom in on a place.
Dang it. Well, there is a there's a, a pirate base there. What's the fleet look like again? The last pirate base we went to wasn't a big deal. Let's go, let's go, let's go blow up that pirate base. Because it's close by and it's worth a lot of money and we need it. So where is it again? Eberus. Yep. All right. Yeah, and we can get there and we can get back. We can't get back to civilization. Oh, we can. I think we'll be able to get back to civilization. All right. All right. And in 17 days, we should have the way waypoint thing done. I'm not quite sure what it's called. Man, that derelict ship. That'd have been a good one to have. Oh, hello. What's that? Mercury class shuttle. I don't I don't even know. I don't I don't know what a Mercury class shuttle is. I'd hate for that to be like a high tech something or another. Yeah, go ahead and get out of the strip, strip, slipstream. Don't stay in the slipstream. Go ahead and get out of it. Come on now. You can do it. There you go, buddy. Save us some fuel, though. The last pirate base we went to was a two star and it wasn't that big a deal. Okay. Uh, yeah. Move to engage. Now this time, hopefully I can last longer than a second before I get destroyed, but we will see. And the the long range rockets or the missiles I have, they're not that fun. <laughs> Alright, that guy. So all three have been fired. All three have been fired. Alright. They're still they're still still flying around, still flying around. Being engaged by point defense because they go so friggin' slow. Oh, there we go. There's a big guy. There we go. All right. And then my other rockets I have are very short range. Look at that. Look at all those fighters there just taking care of it for him. I throw my shields on. I don't even know what those... Oh, yeah, they go for the engines. I remember now. All right. Look at all those fighters. Okay, he's out. I'm going to send my missiles out one more time. Yeah, my, my main missile battery is not... No bueno. Let me get out of this guy's way. I'm in I'm in front of one of my ships. Get out of his way so he can open up. Alright, I'm gonna send uh there we go. Now that that might be a better target for him because it's a slower It's a it's a it's a aircraft carrier. Okay, there we go. One hit. 
out of the, the all the ones I've sent in. I'm in front of another one of my ships, or they get behind me. So either they <laughs> either they get behind me or I get in front of them all the time. I don't even know where those were going. The orange, like I, I shot the orange uh, missile things and they went flying out to some place. I have no idea. His fighters are, are are hanging back. Like he's not using them to attack. Like he's literally just using his fighters to to as point defense. Like they're just they're they're just combat air patrol around him. Boom. Oh cool. He's overloaded. Alright, now. Okay, he's back up. I think I'm out. I think I'm out. Oh, not on my primary missiles. The primary missiles are still there. He's overloaded again, though. Okay, perfect. It says the enemy fleet is destroyed, but... All right. Is that a, oh, yeah. I think that's it now. Okay. Oh, look at that. We can get one of the big pirate cruisers. What's that guy? Oh, is that a... Uh, oh, no, I thought that was a high tech... Nah, we don't want none of that. We will take every single stinking bit of all that. And we will do this. Ooh, a wolf I no. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, and I think that was that was a um I think that was a I think that was a quest guy. Like, I think that fleet was, um, was, uh, like somebody was like, Hey, uh, go, go blow that guy up. Uh, we haven't surveyed this place yet. So we're going to go and we're going to survey it right one second. Uh, moderate ore deposit, abundant rare ore deposit. That's cool. Low gravity, toxic atmosphere, irradiated. Right. Good to know. And then on the other side of this planet is something. We're going to go... Oh, yeah. I didn't think you could do the surveys on the big worlds like this. Uh, diffuse volatiles can be found here. They are su maybe sufficient for industrial... Okay, cool. I didn't, I didn't know you could... I did not know you could do surveys on the big planet like that. I'm interested in what that is. A mining station. Let's explore it. Oh, the location of a cruiser-sized derelict ship. That's good stuff. <gasps> Volatiles, ore. Expanded magazines, a collection of notes, uh, increase the ammo capacity or the number of charges for ballistic and energy weapons. I didn't know they had a, a size. Originally developed by engineers that are seeking cycles dealing with unique. Decrease the effective operation of it in solar. Corona has come. Radius 75 also. What the crap? Solar shielding? Okay. Oh, if, for the for the stars, if you're going to get close to the star. Okay. Uh, targeting array. Standard fighter communication links are repurposed to provide short-range targeting data. Oh, increase fighter damage to missiles and other 
50%, but makes the fighters un unable to leave the vicinity of their ship. Interesting. And what's that? A corrupted nano forge, a powerful and versatile manufacturing black box capable of building itself out of an industrial scale, given the necessary raw materials in the human existence. This one has seen better days and is incapable of relying reliably producing defect free components. Nonetheless, having access to a nano forge at all is a step for us as a starship construction goes step up as far as starship construction goes. increase ship and weapon production quality by 20% increase heavy product industrial production by one unit on habitable worlds causes pollution, which becomes permanent $50,000. Okay. Cool. Very cool. And some of you has to go back. There you go. It's always the metal. Cool. Uh, well, that was $240,000. How do we get $240,000? How did we get, how did we get up to two? We were at 144,000. How do we get a hundred thousand dollars? That guy, that guy had to have been a bounty. I don't know. I don't know. We, we don't have any more space. Um, we don't have any more space. So I guess we're going back home already. There we go. Is that a course, Scotty? It wouldn't be Scotty. It'd be Sulu. But of course, Mr. Sulu. Hold on, hold on. What, what was the thing above it? Below it was the debris field. I see that. And then I saw something above it and I was like, oh, that's a debris field. That. What's that? Cargo? That's another debris field. How many debris field? How many fights did we get into here? One, right? We got into one fight? So what is this? Oh, it's just another debris field. Okay. Interesting. With a ton of ore in it. Well, we wanted the fuel. And we can't really take anything else. Ore is only worth 10. It's worse than metal. If I take you... Yeah, how much can I take? Yeah. That's it. Cool. Is that a ship? Oh, those are cargo pods. All right, let's get out of here. If I knew how lucrative this was going to be, I probably would have done the... I probably would have picked up one more of those pirate ships. Hmm. But now we know where a derelict vessel is, at least cruiser size. The way station at Martin is complete, and we're now doing the mining operation, which is... Perfect. I'm looking forward to getting back to Martin and looking at the uh, looking at the way station and seeing what it's up to. We are probably going to need to go north of that slipstream. And then turn south. Because that slipstream is not going the way we want it to go. There we go. Thirty four minutes. Compromised armor. Nice. So good. Is 
Oof, fifty thousand dollars a month. That's rough. All right, manage the colony. Uh, yeah, they got some stuff here. I wonder what happens if I if I put if I just if I put this stuff here. Do they sell it? Like if I if I put all this stuff here and I give it to the colony, do they sell it? I don't know. This thing can only store resources. I'm, I can I can sell that data. All these weapons go up. Confirm that. So now the way station is up and running. $10,000 monthly income. I wonder if I should take the AI core off of this and put it over here on the spaceport. And I don't think it matters one way or the other. Commerce. Ground defenses. Orbital station. Base station that's capable of supporting friendly fleets near market and must be reduced before invasion or bombardment can be attempted. Several variations are available, with difference generally being a tactical approach rather than overall strength. Fuel production. Heavy industry, light production, patrol HQ. Their requisite hangars, maintenance bays, command control center, barracks, and logistical operations required to project force throughout a star system. Once established, military militarized patrols will hunt pirates and protect friendly convoys. That would be cool. High tech mining. High tech mining is is the motley art of recovering valuable artifacts from domain ruins. Requires special tools to deal with unique hazards and expensive to never look for good halls or towels. The oldest tech miners are a strange lot, clutching arms and refusing to work without their rituals. Maximum number of industries reached. Oh, okay. Awesome. Industries one of one. Oh. Wow, I got I got one industry on this. I chose mining. <laughs> Well, there is ultra rich ore deposits, so I guess I guess that makes sense. Man, it'd be nice if it was if it, not even don't don't give me money. Just don't make me lose seventeen thousand dollars a tick. I swear there was a way to make the site administrator an AI core and it was supposed to like work wonders. Okay. Make improvements, shut down, make improvements. Increase acceptability by 20%. Each improvement made at a colony doubles the number of story points required to make additional. Oh, you use a story point. Cool. Install an item. Yeah, I don't have anything to install. Yeah. Shut down. Make an improvement. Install an item. Yeah. It already has an AI core there. Yep. Yeah. Increase stability by one or two story points. What's my st stability right now? What? Seven? Wow. Making it a free port does, does, does stabilizes it by three? Interesting. Oh, domestic goods demands have been met. Nice. Management bonus. Nice. What do you get at level uh, eight? I wonder. I wonder what you would get at eight. Oh, I guess. I guess that just makes it. Uh, it would just make the growth go up. I bet if it was more stable. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Well, there's there's just not a lot to do here uh, right now. I guess we gotta wait till it just grows on its own. Interesting. We can't have any more industry here, but I, I really want to put in a patrol HQ. That's a that's a structure, not an industry. 
ground defenses we could put in, but that's okay. Cool. All right. Patrol HQ, $300,000. That, that's our goal for right now. So let's go and look at... And then that thing right there. I wonder how you... Oh, we have to install it. There, it tells you right there. Heavy industry, orbital works. Got it. So let's go into storage, which I think that is. And let's just drop you into storage. Okay. 234 of those. I just don't need that many. This is the resource stockpile. Okay. So this is not the market. Why are there a thousand two hundred seventy eight people here? Hold on. At the what 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 hold on. Take the fuel. At the end of the month I'll owe eleven thousand dollars. But right now I pay zero. Assorted supplies required. Yeah, yeah, I know what they are. So this is the stuff that I've given them. Okay. I I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea how that works. I feel like I can take the fuel, but they're going to charge me for it. Same thing with the supplies. I don't want to, I don't want to pay no $35,000 in supplies at the end of the month. We'll see. We'll see. We'll take that and it's $6,000. All right. So we'll see at the end of the month if it's an additional $6,000. Okay. All right. Man, I, I just really don't know if I should. I don't know if I should take that guy with me or not. I need so many crew to make that happen. But having two of these guys, we'd be unstoppable. unstoppable I wouldn't need that I could store that guy I don't think I would need this guy I wouldn't I wouldn't need the support ships because they're so big that they have they they would they carry everything that we would need Let's do it. Let's have it. Let's have it. You only live once. All right. Let's see if there is a mission to take. Um, actually, before we do that, let's go here. I want to take how, what will you yell at me? You'll charge me $64,000 if I take a thousand people. If I take 400, you'll do 20,000. What do I need to have? 221. So it was now the fleet. Nope, we're good. But to but to be completely stock full up, we need 4,876 people. <laughs> and our skeleton crew is 2,000, and we're just above the skeleton crew. There we go. All right. All right, now that we have crew, let's go find some, let's go find something to fight or to explore. I don't really care. I really kind of want them to show me everything. Like if I'm, if I'm in this deal right here, I want to, I want to see everything. Pirate base, exact location is unknown. That looks like it's in the dandelion sector. There's a $40,000 reward for it. We're going to go over there and we're going to destroy some pirates. The other uh, assault carrier, he's got 
arms and armament. She got a great captain. And that pirate base is a threat to us as well, so it just makes sense for us to go out there and take care of it. Look, that right there could be a gigantic pirate uh, fleet headed toward, you know, wherever. Hundred percent. So we're all fixed up. There it is. Can't believe we have two of those things. So cool. And we get tempest tossed in that thing, don't we? We lost a lot of combat readiness, too. All right, let's find this, uh, a gate that's inactive. Is there a stable? There's not a stable thing here. See, if there was a stable, whatever we could go and, uh, We could go and uh, hook up, like like build that little thing or whatever, the ones that give us like the 400 sensor reading, see if we could find it. Go down that way. If we go a little bit faster than the speed of smell, that'd be pretty good. Oh, it's, it's a, it's a, Asteroids, I bet. Oh, it's a debris field. Right. Begin salvage operations. Uh, not great, but you know, better than nothing. Resume our course. Ooh. That right there looks like it's moving. Oh my, oh, it's another one of the Pilgrim fleets. I think they're going to be sorely disappointed that this time around, we actually, we have a gigantic, we have two of those carriers. Uh, let's open the pods. We gained 86 Marines. Nice. Look at all this crap. Pirate blueprint package. Gamma core. Some food, metal, domestic goods. Perfect. Yeah, who are they? Scavengers. Interesting. I bet they're pretty mad because like they were just right there next to the find of a century. 86 Marines and a bunch of other crap. Come on now. What is this? A debris field? Yep. Okay. Nice. And then something else a little farther out. A weapons cache. Nice. Ooh. High intensity laser. Low tech. High tech. Midline. High tech. Common. Common. High tech. And high tech. Uh, this this game this game just knows how to make me uh, insanely happy. <laughs> Preliminary survey complete. Unsurveyed. Ah, oh, let's go out there to that comms relay. Let's see if we can't find a a uh, pirate base out there, huh? If I were a pi pirate base, I'd be next to a comms relay. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Wonder who that is. Do not fly into the, the star. Debris field discovered. I think we've already harvested this debris field, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I think we've already done it. Yeah, we can't we can't go to that um, supply uh, cache because it's in it's too close to the which is odd because you would think that it would be easier to go to where a star is because <laughs> you fall into its gravitational well but apparently oh we're in the corona I've been told ah what's this hello 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 oh it's, it's pirates pursue them our second in command will go hey buddy Hello. You still got away. Other pirate corsair, which is just one kite. Interesting. So not only do I have the comms relay, I installed the sniffer, so even when I'm not here, I should be able to see what's going on. Uh, a second in command to handle it. Wow, they got away again. Oh, Prospector. Huh. Sorry, Prospector. Oh, they attacked the Prospector, though. Uh, how do you do the interdiction pulse? What is it, this? No, that's emergency burn. That's going silent. There's the interdiction pulse, number seven. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, uh... I hit the prospector or somebody. Whoever this is. It's pirates. Uh, I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to put this on, um... Yeah, pursue them. Yeah, that's what we want. Take all that. And we'll just throw all that out into space. Here's a big, here's a big pirate. Oh, scavengers. Never mind. So a bunch of little pirate activity here. Where is their base at, I wonder? That's going to sleep. Just one ship. Although it's enough to, to take back control of the the comms relay. Maybe maybe while he chases that guy, I'll chase this one. These gigantic fleets chasing after these little bitty pirates. Pretty pathetic. Oh, that's the prospector. I keep thinking that he he didn't live. <laughs> I can't keep thinking he got taken over by pirates. This guy's not even doing sustained burn. He's just avoiding us <laughs> by flying in the direction that we come from.
Ice. Alright, come on. Just you two. Go. I'm no, no, that makes for some exciting. Some exciting work. I know. Some exciting videos watching me attack one little bitty. <laughs> and we're already at an hour. I gotta stop. <sighs> Let's see if we can find this stinking uh, pirate base before I leave. We gotta figure out who the slowpoke is in our fleet. What? Look at that. We just did some type of... Wow. That's cool. That's cool. So apparently we have something that allows us to take, um, oh, construction at, at, uh, Martin is complete. So now it's making ore and it, it's not building anything else, but I guess that's okay for right now. Oh, we we're only on a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, come on now. We need a payday here. We need a payday. Where would a where would a pirate base be out here? Where would a pirate base be? A little scary. I I, I might have two months worth of of money. Pirate base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know, but you gotta go find the darn things. That's the problem. This is that uh, survey or scavenger fleet again. It's running through the, the asteroid fields, I guess, looking for derelicts or something. Yes, we have found the pirate base. Consider our military options. Engage the orbital station and its defenders. Continue into battle. Uh, <laughs> oh, it doesn't get old seeing the fleet. It does not get old seeing the fleet. I know from you guys watching out there, you might be bored. You might be like, this game is not fun. But playing it and watching your fleet come out of hyperdrive and array itself for battle. Pretty sweet. Now, where is it? There it is. Oh, this one actually has some defenders. It's shooting down my missiles. Wow, it's actually got some pretty hard-hitting second uh, stuff on its own. Wow, that's a lot of anti. Wow, that's a lot of anti-missile defense. It surely does. It surely does. My flux is almost out. I'm bagging up. It doesn't make sense that your flux builds up and your hole goes down. You know what I mean? Like both of them should go down or both of them should go up. All right, here we go. Launching some missiles. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Don't know really how effective that was. Bag it up, bag it up, bag it up. Engines are out. 
painting. Oh, that just exploded. Engines are online. For some reason, I think my my um, turrets they don't have a an, a, a, an arc anymore. Like I, my targeting computer is down on them, or something. I don't see it anymore. Boom! 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 Let's see if I can. Wow. Okay. Hey, the pirate base is at least destroyed. I turned. I don't know what I did. I, I turned off my my range finding or something. Like I can't see the, I can't see the 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 length that my my weapons engage at anymore. I turned it off or something, or it got broken during the fight. It probably got broke during the fight. Oh, he he retreated. That's not fair. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, we'll consider some ship. Nah. $17,000. We made just then. So I'll take it all. And then we'll say goodbye to the metal. Yep. Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought this was. No, this is right click to learn. Okay. Okay. And $17,000 salvage. 161,000 experience. We should have got. Um... We should have got a thing for that. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're not accepting the quests, and that's why we're not getting all the money we're supposed to be getting from these things. Cargo pod, cargo pod, pirate corsair, debris field. What is all that down there? Kite class shuttle, wolf class transport. I don't want the metal. Bye. 57000 dollars Yikes. Alright, the pirate fleet is is the pirate base is destroyed. A weapons cache. Nice. What is that? What is that? See that says right click to learn it. Already known. Let's see down here. Right click to learn. Interesting. All right, now what are we going to do? We're going to fight more pirates. think not. Let's look and see what's in this sector. I gotta go. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And if you have a moment, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.